Hi there, Molly here. I am back in Helsinki after a long and enjoyable family vacation around kind of Central Eastern Europe. And I have not even unpacked my bag because I am hopping on my bicycle and going straight to Kolo. The cafe has opened in my absence. Yesterday was the opening day. All of the people involved put in huge, huge effort over the past couple of weeks while I was off at the beach working to get this space renovated and ready to open. And I'm excited is such an understatement for what I'm feeling right now to go and see the space and try some coffee and taste the food. So I will let you know how it is. Okay, so I went in and saw Colo and was freaking out because it's amazing. And I cannot believe how much work has been done. is here with me and we are sitting up at the cola that we are painting white look how white it is and we are going to try some of our treats our vegan cola treats so we have here Cardiolan Piricas the Karelian pie um, with rice inside vegan from Hagen yeah. yeah and on top of it we have even a vegan egg butter the moon boy uh, which Linda found a recipe for from my Kivala? Yes. My Kivala's vlog. Uh, vlog. <laughs> from her blog. And here we have a raw ball with some. Do you want flavors? I think it's raspberry and something, some other berry. Oh, well, made Yummy. by Krista. Yes, made totally by Krista. Totally recommend these. Who's one of our um, Colo team members. She made these herself. They look good. I'm going to try them. <laughs> mm, that's super good. I love the Moon Boy. Mm. It's amazing. It, it does taste actually like eggs, doesn't it? That's so weird. The trick is um, it's there. Are, there's some black salt in there, which, black salt. which is like I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, it's even creamy like the eggs. I don't know if I'm gonna post all that. <laughs> I think I'll stop. So, my first day at Colo ended up just being too overwhelming. I was too excited. There were too many people there. So I didn't exactly wrap up the video and as you saw I was kind of going into food coma and I was a little tired. But, the first day was absolutely amazing. I actually worked my first shift there yesterday and so I was serving coffee making the AeroPress coffees and greeting customers as they walked in and there was such a nice variety of people and people were so warm and happy to be there and it was just wonderful and such fun and I was working there with my friend Yako and he was just like a total joy to work with we were grooving to music and stuff like that and um, we have this fun policy now at Cola where if you bring a plant I think you get a free cup of coffee so people are bringing plants and then stuff just totally lovely. I'll work my next next shift there on Wednesday and again be practicing my finish. And I just wanted to bring something up. The Cardiolan Pirica that we were eating in the last, uh, earlier in the episode with Aini, um, that's also in English, it's called a Karelian pie. And it's one of only two Finnish foods that are kind of trademarked from Finland. It's very, um, it's a very distinctive and traditional Finnish food, and it's this kind of rye crust folded around in kind of this ovular shape, um, and the filling is usually some kind of rice 
porridge or a um, kind of mashed potato filling and they're quite savory and people eat them often times for a snack or if you're having afternoon coffee or on the side with dinner or something like that and oftentimes they put egg butter on top and the reason it's kind of special that we're serving them in kolo is because we're doing a vegan version and so we're actually ordering the pies themselves from Hagenlepa and uh, we and Linda came up with the recipe, as I mentioned, for the egg butter, for the munavoy. And so it doesn't actually have eggs or butter in it, which is kind of crazy because it tastes quite good. So anyway, now I have to get going. I'm on my way to my friend Yuho's birthday and I've just been making all this food. So I have here, and some of it's supposed to be eaten fresh, so I really should go. But I made, um, I made two recipes from one of my favorite vegan food bloggers blogs um oh she glows and so first i have this strawberry and avocado salad and i think it looks so yummy and super fresh i can't wait to eat it, it has basil and my balsamic reduction got a little bit thick but it doesn't matter because it tastes delicious because it was kind of supposed to be like drizzled on but it's kind of blopped <laughs> um and it has some basil on it too and I love that it has strawberries because as we all know finished strawberries are the best 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 this year finished strawberries are actually having a tough year all the papers are writing about it because of the weather but apparently they might have a round two but so people I've been like guzzling strawberries every chance I get but apparently the blueberries are starting to come out so I'm definitely going to go out maybe to Mustikama and see if I can find any blueberries. It is called Blueberry Land, so there are probably blueberries there. And the other recipe I made from Oshi Glows is these no bake chocolate cookies. I tasted some of the batter, it was divine. So I just took them out of the freezer and I better get going. And in the meantime, I've been snacking here on my orange flavored salmiaki because I'm a total weirdo and I love salty licorice. And I got them from Kumpoti and they're really good. Anyway, thanks all for tuning in to this episode of Molly Up North and I will see you next time.